If you're here from my first video on how I organize my email and my inbox, welcome back. It's minimalism crush time level two. If you're not though, this is part two in a series that I'm doing on, like I said, digital minimalism, where I talk about all the different areas of my digital life and how I have simplified and streamlined things to get more done, to be more focused, less distracted, and to not lose stuff. So today I'm talking about file structure and organization on my desktop and on Google Drive. This is my desktop. Um, it has absolutely no files on it. It's just really nice when you're turning on your computer in the morning to not have anything jump out at you. It's a clean slate. However, I'm a normal human being. I obviously have files like anybody else. So where do I store them? Well, the short answer is Google Drive, uh, but there's a longer answer to that because I don't like being fully reliant on the internet. You know, you don't always have a connection. So let's just jump into Google Drive really quick. Okay, so let's talk about my organization in the drive. As you can see here, there's one folder that I very originally called folders. This is the same as in my email, in my Gmail account. It's just a nice way for me to tuck everything away. It has a very nice clean look and it's welcoming. I even picked the color intentionally. If I open that up, you will find I have four major categories that correspond exactly once again with my email categories. So I have Nathaniel Drew, which is my presence online and my work with YouTube. Work, which is freelance jobs that I do as a filmmaker and photographer. Once again, I'm trying to transition from here to here. Personal, uh, so anything that doesn't fit into these two. And then money. The numbering and organization matches my email, as well as the colors. And that just helps me to maintain consistency across my life and across platforms. Over time, you start to associate a certain color, uh, like blue in this case, to a certain category or part of your life, which for me, in this case, is Nathaniel Drew, my, my work on YouTube. So this is a really cool, pared down way to organize things and make it inviting. If I go further in, and you can also navigate on the side here so I can show you my folder structure, I have many levels of organization. It goes pretty deep. And some people have an issue doing this. They're afraid of creating too many folders and uh, overcomplicating their organization. I find that as long as you're being very specific with your labeling of your folders, it's very easy to find whatever it is that you're looking for. It's also helpful, once again, to color code the different parts of my life and also to number folders so that I see them in the order that I want to see them. Some of these details might seem, I don't know, a little excessive or a little bit strict and unnecessary, but I find that these little details help make the process more seamless and I don't even think about it now, you know? I just go straight to what I need to get. I gave a warning about this in my previous video, but it's really important to not label folders vaguely because you're not gonna remember what's in them. So bad labels are random, miscellaneous, other, that just doesn't work. So just to share really quickly some of the folders that I use to break things down within Nathaniel Drew, within my work on YouTube, I split things up into video and photography. Work is organized very similarly. I break it down into current projects, finances, what I do as an entity, right? Business documents and archives. A lot of the labels overlap with Gmail once again, and that helps me stay really organized. All right, so here's where things get really cool. So if I come up, here into the top right corner and press the settings button you can see you can get backup and sync for in this case it's the mac but you can also get it for a pc i have a pc and it works great on there and this is basically software that google has created so that you can sync up everything that you have on your google drive onto your computer so what this ended up doing was creating this little button up here on the top that backs things up automatically and if i hit this button it opens up this Google Drive folder that I have on my computer locally that has the exact same folder structure and all the same documents within it. Now, I would definitely still recommend creating a further backup on an external hard drive and leave it somewhere separate, but this is a cool way to have access to things both online and locally if you need. Another cool thing that this software does is if I'm back here in Google Drive, and I click over here on the left, you'll see under computers, I have my connected computers, if you will, um, and I can access certain folders. I set it so that if I ever leave anything, any folders on my desktop, it'll automatically sync that to the drive. So if I were to create something and 
store a few files here on the desktop because that's convenient for me and that's something I like to do, I can set it up so that Google Drive has access to that and everything stays in one place. It just simplifies things. You're not having to worry about syncing everything up and you have consistency no matter where you go. So that pretty much covers my system with organizing files. Um, it's as simple as possible intentionally. I really just like simplicity in general. And if something isn't really simple and easy for me to follow, I usually don't follow through with it. So once again, this requires some upfront work, but once you have a system in place that you're committed to, it just, it's amazing how much easier it is to find what you're looking for, to not get pulled away by distractions. It's just wonderful. It makes working a lot more enjoyable for me. And of course, if you're interested in seeing more content like this on digital minimalism, uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I have more episodes coming in the next few weeks that I'm really excited to share. Okay, awesome. I think I have said everything that I need to say. I'll see you guys soon.